I have become Barbenheimer, Destroyer, Movie Box. <laughs> yes, hello, good evening, and good day. On today's Swizzy Cinema Soiree, it will be in two parts, the first of which in my special Barbenheimer double feature in reverse order, which is Oppenheimer. Welcome to the show. Obviously, I'm super late with this review, but as we know, this Ken is always late to the party. So, first thing we gotta say about this movie is that it kept its pace incredibly well for being a three-hour movie. 80% of the time, I was, like, riveted. I was impressed with how much it felt fast. The second thing the movie did well that struck me was it criticized the Red Scare anti-communist fever during World War II and almost presented communism in, like, if not a good light, at least a nuanced light that felt refreshing. Because regardless of your political ideology, uh, we're pro union in this house. We support Zac Afra in this story. So naturally standout performances to Cecilia Murphy, Christopher Nolan for directing, uh, my boy, Rami Malek, Matt Damon, and perhaps the steamiest performances by Florence Pugh, who I did not even know that was her until 